Hello there my YouTube friends, so we've got another figure pick up the day This one has come really quickly and I can't thank the guy enough, you know It's uh, from 16 Star Wars UK, which is a Facebook group He put it up, I think I saw it on the Sunday Paid it on the Sunday He got it out on the Monday It's only the Tuesday and I've got it already So thank you very much to Michael Doyle Again, like I say, from the 1-6 Star Wars UK group. Yeah, this has been a character I've been after for quite a while. I do have a version of him. I have the um, Sideshow version of him, which I did, I think, make a video on quite a while back. Um, which I do love that figure. But I always wanted to get the Hot Toys version. Because I think, to me, I think Hot Toys just do a better quality than what Sideshow often do. But we're going to find out just what the quality difference is when I get this one opened up guys and show you what we have got and there we go guys there's a giveaway for those that know that stuff about the hot toys the way the hot toys do them it's the dx 16 one sixth scale figure from star wars episode one darth maul yes yeah, so those of you that know or have seen my collection before do know that i do have already the darth maul from sideshow like i've already mentioned which you will get a comparison in this video if i have time if not i'll make a separate video about it there we go guys i'm going to get it out the box properly this was packaged amazingly. I mean, the guy done a fantastic job. So thank you so much, Michael. It was really fucking well packaged, buddy. I, I'm kind of believe how well you've managed to package that thing to make sure I got you. What surprised is actually is the size of the box. I certainly wasn't expecting it to be this big. It's, it's, it seems to be, to me, like it's bigger than the average size box that you normally get. So let's get out and show you what the box itself and that looks like and how the figure looks. And here we go, guys. So as you can see, this is the box. And this was a nice touch, I do like this bit here, yeah. the guy itself sent us this, you know, saying enjoy buddy, so which one's better, let me know. That's because me and him had been discussing the fact that I'd got the other version of it, and that I was going to do a comparison of the two, and he wants to know basically which one, so keep watching Mike, and hopefully you'll be able to see which one's better for yourself. But this box alone, straight away, is superb, really like it. Yeah, it's a really nice, you don't want clear and simple all the way around the, the rest of it, guys. And you've got the warnings not on the back. Very, very simple thing. Looks like it's a slip. Got to come off. And boom, opens to that. And there we're gone. Really nice looking thing. Uh, just open up the doors. So it's up there. And it opens up there. That's beautifully done. Oh, this bit wants to fall out, so we'll just prop it a little bit so we can have a look over that side. And you can see he's a little thing Darth Maul. A deadly agile Sith Lord, trained by the evil Darth Sidious. Darth Maul was a formidable warrior and scheming mastermind who wielded an intimidating double-bladed lightsaber and fought with a menacing ferocity which is absolutely bang on for this character you know he really did and that's what i love about darth maul lovely looking thing here i'm going to get these out at different times because i'm obviously going to show you all the, the different things you get I mean, you can see there a couple of different head sculpts that bit drops it and you've got some more stuff there. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it all out, put it into this light box. As you can see, I've set my light box up and then show you all the accessories before we take a look at the figure himself. So let's hope you enjoy, guys. <laughs> wow, guys, this is a tremendous amount of stuff. I was not expecting as much as this, even though I've seen other people's videos on it. I, it was that long ago that I watched any of them that you just forget how much stuff comes in it, you know, this is an incredible amount of gear You start off with obviously a dynamic flight pool, which by the looks of it on this thing can be fit into two different places You have the waist grabber Which again, you just gotta be careful, you know they have got the foam 
on there I still think you've got to be careful on some of the characters what you're doing you know you have this thing which I'm just having to tilt it slightly so you can see it but I mean that is fantastic it is metal yeah it is a nice piece I do like that I think that is really really nice and I think it's well been well made so let's put that to one side as well the base itself massive base you can see guys so you're getting some flare back off me light but it's very dark here in the uk at the minute with it being very rainy day to day so i'm gonna put the light on to see so you can see look it's basically things who it is uh, it's a massive stand which you normally find that you do get these with the um stuff that have a dynamic thing they need a, a big stand you know me i tend not to use them if i can help it so I don't think you'd be doing any sort of flying style pose or anything. Um, this thing, so this is a little droid that he had in there. I think that is a, an amazing, beautiful piece. You know, the colours to it, the fact that it's not like perfect, it's sort of got the odd little scratch and thing, you know, like he's had it a while. Yeah, the levels of details to it, you know, the little wire in there, the background. Yeah, I just think that is damn cool. A nice little touch. Chances are, though, I'll probably not be using it on mine. You know, you do get a couple of bits that go with it. I think this bit, yeah, must pop into the, the top here somehow. To give it like a big antenna. You've got this bit, which is a, basically like a dynamic pool for it. Which goes in the bottom end here. To stand it on. And it obviously has its own little stand here, which you can see to put on, so you can put it on the base. But like I say, the chances are I'll not use it, but I do think it is an absolutely gorgeous piece, you know. I think it's really well done. And if I had a thingy for it, then maybe at times I might put it out with them, but the chances are possibly not, you know. But it is a damn, damn good piece. You get your normal so spare wrist pegs. This one, you're also getting other spares as well, which I'm not sure what the are, because obviously I haven't looked at the character yet. You're seeing things at exactly the same time as I am. So you have got spare, well, basically could be buttons and spare whatever the hell those are. You know what I mean? But you are getting spares, so you see that one thing, the worry about you, them dropping off, or two, that are actually um, just basically being really nice to you. Yeah, they've got a couple of extra go arm gauntlets forearm gauntlets which again i don't know what you would need these for but i do have the instructions there we'll end up having a look and see if what the difference is then but you do have a couple of different gauntlets you have this piece which is basically like a, a bottom end for going in so you've got like this lightsaber here which again i will show you this then first before we Move on if I can get this just a camera thingy on it. There you can. The details to it, you know, just incredible. Oh, it's beautifully made, these things. That's what I love about Hot Toys. But you can see it comes apart. So that bit there, it'll plug in. I'll take it, we'll plug it up. It plugs into the bottom of here. So basically, if you want to have just like a single, a single thingy lightsaber, then it can be. But I mean, it's Darth Maul. Why would you want to have a single? Yeah, you know? but at least it is a thing that you can do that if you, if you do so wish. But I mean, come on, it's Darth Maul. Man. He's got to have his double. Yeah, you know? it's very rare that you'll ever see him with a single. So he's got to have his double, which is absolutely cool. Again, you have this thing, which again, absolutely beautifully detailed, man. Yeah, you know? looks like it's been used. Looks he's been around for a while. It just looks absolutely amazing. Yeah. Again, it's probably something I'll, I'll not use them because if, for me it's a case of when I haven't posed, I want to have them posed in like a fighting style stance. That's that's more my sort of cup of tea to it. Again, you have your lightsaber ends after the lightsaber itself. Yeah, it was obviously, the two of those because. Yes, yeah, more on each end. And you also have the swoosh effect ones. You know, which again, 
beautiful pieces. You do have some batteries, which is obviously going to be for these ones, which you have actually surprisingly, this is what surprises as well, is that you've got two arms that will have the light up effect feature, which again, I won't use, I never do. You know, I think it's just, it's, for me, it's just, it's a gimmick, and it's a good gimmick if you're wanting to take pictures and what have you with the lights, like, turned low and what have you. But, I mean, to me, the batteries just end up running out, and you're going to have to keep on trying to change them out or get a little enough screwdriver to be thinking of it. It's just, it, to me, it's a bit of a pain in the arse. You know what I mean? It's just a pain in the arse for what it is. So, but it's still good that they offer this thing up to those that want it, you know, and I, and I, I couldn't fault them for that. Yeah, it's amazing. So you've got the double lightsaber one, and you also have the single lightsaber one, which as you can see, that's the bottom in it, which is the same as the little one that's down here. Yeah. By the looks, I would say it's probably going to take three batteries for each arm. That's why you give them six, the diff six different batteries. You know, you do have the flexibility in the wrist. And you do have the flexibility in a double jointed elbow. Yeah, so it's that knee. Now it's been skimp when it comes to the flexibility there. Yeah, and the fact that it'll light up. It'll be a cool feature. But something I just I never use in any of mine, I haven't yet. This thing, at first I was wondering what the hell is this thing for? But then I found out that inside of these things you have, I don't know how well you can see there, you have movable eyes. You know, so that's what these things are for, is to be able to put inside to maneuver the eyes around so you can put the eyes where you want them to be, which is a, a damn cool feature on these DX versions. You know, you don't get any of that in the normal versions, but in these DX versions that's what you get, is the ability to move these eyes around you know, and put them in any position you want to put them in. But I mean, look at the head sculpt wise, I mean, just look at this, guys, yeah. That is just fantastic, you know, the yellow and blackness to the teeth. You know, the fact that they put the tongue in there as well, so you can see it. The redness and orange in his eyes. You know, they look like real eyes because you get that sort of glow at them. You can see there, the, there's the shine from your light coming up them. And the horns are bloody sharp, a pin sharp. You know, these are pin sharp, so you know, be careful when you're putting the damn head on the figure because you're all kind of freaking prick yourself with these things. But I mean, look how beautiful they are, man. You know, look at the details to them. This is an incredible, incredible looking figure. You know, and you do get the two head sculpts. The one that's on it and this one, but I just think that the way the teeth are done. You know, the fact that you can see the yellow and the black to them. You know, they're just... a uh, crinkles in his eyes and everything else that is amazing guys it really is I, I mean, I'm just like wow blown away and I was already blown away by the f me old one you know the sideshow piece and obviously you're getting this that you can put on them you know nice bit of material obviously it'll open out that way which by the looks it's just like a little sort of hinge type thing you have these things that open up and it is a wire in this top bit not in the bottom bit I can't feel any wire in the bottom, but the wire, it's thing, but there's definitely a bit of wire in there. Very thin, but there's wire in there. And if there's a wire in there, it's got to be so thin that you, it's not really... Because it is staying in position a little bit when you're moving it around. Yeah, so it, it's not like it's not staying in position, it is. Yeah, but the wire is like extremely sort of thin. Yeah, there's a wire on that side, but again, it, it feels thinner than the wire on this side. I don't know why. But it does feel thinner than the wire on this side, but there is wires there, you know. There's no wires along the bottom or anything like that, you know, and I don't know if I'll use this or not. Very much doubt it, because I don't even think I've got it on the other one. I can't actually remember, to be perfectly honest with you. But you get it, and that's fantastic, you know, because the more stuff you get, the more posing choices you've got. Hands-wise, you're getting plenty. Plenty of hands choice. Yeah, you can't go to the thing in. With them being gloves, you're not going to have much sort of levels of detail, but there is enough detail there to sort of see, you know, you've got the different sort of styles to them. Yeah, one for holding. Lightsaber. Splayed. 
open palm. Yeah, they're just sort of really cool. I mean, there must be ones there for holding on to his um, binoculars. So you do have plenty of options there, as well as one close fist. I don't know what fists he's got on because obviously he does have hands already on him. So we'll have to see that when I get the carrot out. But there you can see, guys, that is a lot, a lot of stuff you get with him. You know, a hell of a lot of stuff you get with them, which is just amazing, especially for the price I've paid. Because these guys are going pretty damned expensive on the likes of eBay and that. And even when you see them in a lot of the actual sort of Facebook groups, he's still going for a massive price. This guy, I snapped his hands off for it. You know, as soon as I seen it, I was like, whoa, somebody hasn't picked his hands off the other yet. I'm going to have to. Because I couldn't let this one go. Yeah, he had it at a nice, reasonable price. He wasn't expecting something fortune for it which is absolutely brilliant and it i kind of felt it you know he, he's done us proud this is an amazing amount of stuff you're getting with it the figure itself i know for a fact is going to be good and then i'm going to do the comparison with the sideshow and see just how they actually compare to each other but first let's get out the figure and show you the figure himself and here he is guys here's darth maul himself this is the way I've getting. Now whether he came with these hands or not, I don't know. This is the way the guy sent them to us. So these are the hands that he's got on, which is good to see that he's got a one of the open hand splayed hands on him and one of the hands for gripping onto the lightsaber with. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna get close ups of the guy in a moment, but what I want to do is just basically go through some of the articulation you get with this guy and hope that it's really good. Um all of these bits of his I don't know what you would want to call it skirt or whatever do have wires in them so you can sort of you will be able to maneuver them around and get them into certain positions they're not going to go into like really amazing positions because the wires aren't dead thick but you certainly can you know, get them sort of maneuvering around like they've been blown and stuff like that you know if they excuse that if you can hear the dog in the background the little moaning bugger that he is um but the one the worst thing i think is even though they look beautiful you know i mean if you look at them boots they look absolutely fantastic you know i love that they look amazing but because they're not split you see you're getting very little in the way of articulation in them you know you can get some but it's not not that great you know you're not really getting much in a way that you know you really haven't a thing in and it's not just trying to spring itself back into position so that's a bad bit and that is one of the bad things that's Hot Toys can sometimes do with a lot of, especially with the Star Wars figures for some reason. Other figures, they will make a split boot. We had to make it easier to manoeuvre the feet around so you can get them in good positions. That's one of the bad things because this is a guy that really does need to be able to position them in a lot of different ways, you know, for some of the fighting scenes that he was able to do in the film. So that's a bit bad, but hey, you know, I mean, articulation wise, you can see there that it comes out quite a nice little way. Let's move his arm out of the limit, and we'll see how far his leg can come forward. See, it's difficult to just think of because you need to move that out of the way. And comes that forward, back will probably be pretty bad because they're nearly always are with these hot toys ones. You know, you can see there, look, he barely moves any back at all. That, for some reason, that's what hot toys is like that you can't really get them to go back over. You know, it always seems to be the case with it. You're getting a, lit, a little bit of swivel there. A little bit of movement forwards and backwards, so that's pretty good. Try and get this thing back down to the position a bit more. Arms wise, I'm just trying to get comfortable here, guys, so I'm working off my floor. Oh, a little bugger. So, shoulder wise, comes all the way up almost to 90 degrees. Uh, no problem at all. Comes forward as long as you can swivel his bicep out the way a bit. Just comes forward. So there, he does have a bicep swivel, does have a butterfly joint in the shoulder as well, so it gives you plenty of motion, sort of back and forward, elbow wise, you see you've got the double joint in his elbow which is perfect in your normal style wrist peg to movement in the wrist, 
head wise because it just pops off because it's on a magnet and the neck itself does have movement in it so you are going to get some decent sort of downward look flexion side to side and what have you you know so that's pretty good you know it's, uh, you're not limited there at all so that's that's good for articulation you know it's not bad at all oops it's not bad at all for articulation you know i'm quite happy with that for the feet the feet's the one thing that's letting that down which is a, such a shame with it being a dx figure the fact that you can move the eyes though is amazing you know it's 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 fantastic you know you can see that head sculpt is just oh man he's just such a menacing character you know it looks amazing and again the horns are sharp so you have to watch out for that guys but there you go guys i mean you can see there it's just an amazingly well done character yeah you can't fault it but i think the moment you've been waiting for is to get the side show one out and compare the head sculpts and what they look like and maybe how the sort of materials are so let's get them out and put a side by side comparison and here we go guys with the comparisons can you tell which one's which do you know which one's which i mean there's a difference in them quite remarkable in some respects you know you down to the feet and you can see that for the looks of them you've got hot toys wins out for maneuverability the sideshow ones move out because actually even though the front of the boot is all sort of one thing the back of the boot is in two so you get more maneuverability of his feet you know than what you do on the, the, the hot toys version both have wires in them the slightly thicker wires are in the actual sideshow version and what's in the um hot toys version but as you can see you know pretty much when it comes to the clothing wise they're quite similar you know you've got not a huge difference in the clothes wise the actual lightsabers themselves sorry with the wrong guys but i'm trying to get comfortable again it's pretty difficult to do you can see lightsabers wise you know they're pretty sort of you know they're similar in a lot of ways but also in a few ways they're slightly different to each other you know and it's just a case of which one you prefer when it comes to the actual colors to them then i've got to say the sideshow one wins out for me just because it's a more deeper red it's a more sort of vibrant red it stands out more than this sort of this one looks pink you know what i mean you look at that like that and that looks pink it doesn't look red it looks pink you know whereas you see that one in the sideshow version that is red you know so that may be something I might sort of swap out in them is actually the actual saber part of it if that bit will fit inside which I'm, I'll check shortly and then you come to the sort of head sculpts and you can see well if you look at the bodies to be perfectly honest if you look at the bodies you can see the sideshow body is a less chunky than the Hot Toys version you know they're roughly about the same size there or thereabouts yeah but the head sculpts wise again it's a case of which one you prefer you know so that one's a more vibrant red it's also thinner faced that one's slightly chunkier faced and a darker more deep more blackish red you know it's like the dark side definitely there's that's like very sort of vibrantly red and i'm not sure like to be fair i'm not sure which one i prefer um i will say the DX one, because you've got the movement in the eyes and what have you, that's definitely better. But which one's more movie accurate to his redness? The chances are it's probably going to be Hot Toys because they're pretty much shit hot when it comes to stuff like that, you know. They pretty much are. But what I'll do is I'll get both the head sculpts off and we'll show you the both the head sculpts like really close together and get a better sort of comparison that way. I mean, there's just sort of comparison them guys, you know. And it's a case of which one you prefer, really. I mean, <sighs> having them both together. I think they're both beautiful figures. I really do think they're both beautiful figures. Hot Toys possibly wins slightly out on most respects because Hot Toys just go into it in slightly more detail than what Sideshow do. Sideshow are the sort of cheaper variant and stuff, but it's still a good enough piece. You know, if you've got the Sideshow piece, then you can see you know, there's not massive amounts in it. There's enough to sort of make it worthwhile for me 
to have picked up the Hot Toys version, would I be getting rid of my Sideshow version? No, I won't, because it was a present of my mother. Yeah, my mother was the one that paid for that one for, for us, so I won't be getting rid of it, no. Um, what I'll do with it, I do not know, um, but I certainly won't be getting rid of it, that's for sure. But what I want to do is get the two head scopes off, put them right next to each other, show you that, and see just where the comparisons are there, even though you can see pretty much the differences in them there, but it's going to be better if I can just show you them closer together. And here we go guys, here's the and give the pair of them together as you can see you know, it is a difference in the sort of paint wise slightly thicker lines on the Hot Toys variant which this is the Hot Toys variant just in case you were wondering because you couldn't tell which you should be at least because I mean you can see this one is a much more vibrant red to it the details in the horns are sort of a lot slightly different in them yeah, the head scope itself is slightly smaller and slightly shorter on this one as you can see the difference in the blacks the difference in the texture yeah, you notice a similar sort of way that they're looking you know this one's sort of slightly looking up and you can't alter the eyes on this one which this one you can alter the eyes on to make them look any which way you want them which is a great vast improvement. You can't swap the heads over because you see they're a different peg. So you couldn't do it swapping the heads over and seeing how it looks because it just wouldn't work. Even though this one would probably fit on top of the body on that one, that's, I wouldn't want to do that, you know. I mean, I just, it seemed pretty pointless. But if you wanted to, you could, I suppose, take the other alternate head of this one and put it on the side show body. But I mean, I think it's like, you know, they're really nice. They're both really good figures. Uh, if you haven't got the money for the Hot Toys variant, because the Hot Toys variant at the minute, like I say, is just most times it's hard to get a hold of, and when you do get a hold of it, it's coming for it like over three hundred pound regularly, you know, and it's just a lot of money. Whereas this one, you can if you can pick it up, you might be able to pick it up a bit cheaper. It really depends now, because again, I don't think this one's actually on side shows thing anymore, so there might be that these might be expensive as well, but. I would have thought you should be able to pick this one, side show version up a little bit cheaper than the Hot Toys version. The Hot Toys version, you get so much more stuff with it. But what I would want to do is I want to have a look at, see if I can change the actual lightsaber ends out and see how they look. But I mean, there you go, guys. There's your comparisons with the head sculpts. You know, there is a sort of big difference in certain aspects of it. But they do still look cool, and I do still love this one. But this one just, I think, just tops it out. Just makes it that slight bit more menacing, slight bit more mean and just beautiful. Just beautiful, guys. And there you can see, guys, you can swap them out. There's only one problem with it, though. There's only one issue with it, because it does, to me, look better when it's like that and it's a vibrant red, which basically means I might have to look at respraying these ones. Because I'm not going to be getting rid of the character, you know, and if I do eventually get rid of the character, well then hopefully the person that gets him would like the fact that it looks a deeper red. So I might have to respray these as a more red. Because the one issue with this thing is, I don't know well you can see that movement, but it's 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 in, but it's got no hold on it, you know. So it would be a case of either finding a way to make it hold it better, or just respraying the other ones. It's hard to think, because obviously I still want to, have the chance just to display the other one so it does fit in and to me it does look better when it's a deeper red when it's more thing because it almost looks like it's switched on there and in glowing you know whereas i know they made these ones so that the light can pass through them and make it glow but it doesn't come right at the end of the damn thing anyway you know so it's it would be pretty pointless it would only be at the very bottom of here where you would actually see any sort of the the glow coming through it anyway you know so i think to me it might be worth the sort of trying to get ones and respray it red so it's more vibrant like that yeah but there you go guys that's my take on it now it's a case of which one do i put in the detail of <laughs> which one it's probably gonna have to be the hot toys one and, and, unless for now maybe for now i'll just display the pair of them together as a way of sort of for when people come in and see the difference of them you know 
um, until I decide what to do with my sideshow one until I get something else where I can display my hot toys one with somebody else anyway guys thanks very much for watching probably stick around to the end of this video just after I finish speaking because what I might do is show you them in the detail together um, how I've got them displayed together for the time being um, so anyway guys thanks very much for watching I hope you like this video again thank you very much Michael for this let me buy this piece off you for as cheap as what you, you give us it to because to me for what prices I've seen it on eBay you, you give us it for a steal mate and I'm, I'm well happy you know I am well happy guy so thanks very much Michael I really appreciate it buddy and it was a pleasure doing business with you as well because it was uh, a bit of a faff one to get it sorted out but once we got it all sorted it was here in double quick time guy and I'm well happy yeah thanks very much mate thanks very much for watching guys I will catch you in the next one this is the Beardy Nerdy Oaf I'm out here remember stick around and I'll show you what they look like together in the details but I'm um, now out of here so as you can see here guys I decided on basically posing them both together for the time being you know one of them with sort of standard style head on them and the other one with this sort of screaming style head on it yeah so you can see the difference in the two until such a time as I can work out what and how I'm going to decide to do these things but I mean I'm, I'm happy with them I think they look absolutely superb yeah, and I'm so delighted I've picked up the Hot Toys version. Yeah, but it's again, it's everybody's choice, you know, and it's what you can afford. If you could only afford the Sideshow version, then you can see, you kind of gone far wrong. It's a nice looking piece. It has good articulation to it. Yeah, it has some nice things. You can get some really good sort of emotional style things out of it. So I'm I'm happy enough with it, and I had it. I've had it for a good for a while. I think I've had it for a good three year i thought this guy for yeah and i was perfectly happy with him but i always wanted to get the hot toys variety because i'm just a hot toys fanatic you know i think hot toys do a slightly better job you know especially when it came to this guy oh let's get this i think it doesn't get too much of it flare off oh. especially when it came to this guy yeah the hot toys version of this guy is just absolutely way 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 superior to the version that you get from uh, Sideshow but Sideshow I think was stuck more to the cartoon version and um, I do have that version of it but I'm trying to get rid of it you know I just don't want it anymore in fact to be perfectly honest from the moment I got it I unboxed it had a look at it I think I think I made a video on it and then it got boxed straight back up again and that was it it's never been in its box and I just never getting run to getting rid of it you know it's just been sat in its box waiting but it will go up for sale sometime soon there you go guys that is how they are looking and they say they're next to each other so you can see the difference in quality you can see the difference in the way they look straight away that's me now guys i am truly out of here thanks for watching so what I believe you were trying to say is thank you. Thank you? You're welcome. What? No, no, no. I, I didn't. I wasn't. Why would I ever <laughs> okay, say that? Okay. I mean... <laughs>